Welcome back. As many were recently reminded, storms can wreak havoc on our homes. However, there are some preventative steps you can take now to help mitigate the damage the next time one hits. I caught up with Fred Malik from IBHS.org to learn more. Now it's time for Open House, sponsored by Pyramid Heating and Cooling. You know, it seems the storms keep getting crazier and crazier here in the Pacific Northwest. And I've got a great guest here to talk more about what we can do to make our homes more resilient. Fred Malik, welcome to Around the House Northwest. Hey, Eric. How you doing, buddy? Good to be with you. Good to see you, man. I love what you guys are doing out there. It doesn't matter if it's a wildfire or if you're getting ready for winds or hurricanes or whatever else across the country. Let's talk about Fortified Home and the other programs you have out there, because I tell you what, you guys are getting a lot of great information from testing and uh, practical use. Yeah, so IBHS is a research company, and that's our focus. We, we look at houses the same way IIHS looks at cars. We have a test facility in South Carolina where we can crash test houses the same way they run cars into walls. So we look at things like high wind, wind-driven rain, hail, and wildfire. Man, and that is beautiful. I love that testing program you have because I tell you what, you know, people can say it'll perform in those applications. You guys put it to the test. Yeah, we sure do. And, and one of the things that we want to make sure that we do is, is as we go through the science part and we learn the important lessons that we learn, we got to be able to communicate that out to, to the public, right? So homeowners, what can we, what can we tell them about what, how they can maintain their property? How can we inform builders and tradesmen like roofers to do a, a job that's going to resist those severe forces? And so we have developed two programs. They're sister programs. One is called Fortified Home. There we look at things like roofs, openings and garage doors and a, what we call the load path. Uh, and, and we have a, a, our sister program, which is the Wildfire Prepared Program. And that is self-explanatory. It's designed to minimize wildfire risk. Yeah, that is, that is important stuff. Let's talk about one of the biggest threats we have here. We'll talk about wildfires in a second. Of course, wind-driven rain. That is something that we get here a lot. And uh, I know right now we have a lot of tree professionals and roofers in our area. They're going to be busy for months trying to put homes back together. Well, let's talk about it because you guys have some great you know, programs out there and ways to do this that'll be much more reliable than just your standard installation. Yeah, one of, it, through our three decades plus of research, uh, you know, we've identified that the most vulnerable system on any house, doesn't matter where you are, is your roof. And why is that? Because it can, it's, it's up there weathering every single day and it's, it, it's subjected to things like wind and rain. And rain is one of the great damage amplifiers because if it gets in, Inside your home, chances are your financial loss and the potential disruption you might suffer is exponentially going to be greater than if we kept the damage to the outside of the home. So our program in Fortified gives very specific instructions on how to prevent wind and rain from getting inside the attic. And that is so important because you know how a roof system is made. We have our, our trusses or whatever roof system is up there. We've got our plywood or OSB or whatever system that's up there that's the sheet goods and like we talked about on our radio so there's that expansion and contraction gap around each one of those and when that roof system that protects it from the water gets blown off you now have a water feature in whatever room that just got exposed yeah that's right you know you you, you keep using a, a, a key word that I, I think is maybe underappreciated and that's that the roof is a system right so most of us that are homeowners you know, we just think about the roof as uh, the roof cover, what we can see. Do we have shingles, metal, tile? What, what do we have up there? That's the roof system. But the roof system really starts with the sheathing that you just talked about. And then the, the layers that, have, that are installed over top of that sheathing before you get to the primary cover. And so in Fortified, we basically have a three-step process. We call it nail it down, seal it up, lock it in. Nail it down says, hey, let's use ring shank nails at six inches on the center to secure all that roof decking material. That doubles the uplift capacity of, of a roof deck over a standard code built roof deck. And then we call it, we have seal it up. And that's where we take the, the different types of materials, whether it be tape and synthetic underlayment, fully adhered membrane, which is peel and stick, uh, or two layers of 30 pound felt. Let's put that on the roof and secure it in such a way that if the primary cover comes off, no matter what it is, 
that will stay in place. Man, great advice. Now let's talk about wildfire season real quick. I know that's going to come creeping up on us around here again. Really, what what's most important in in your around your home is that zero to five foot zone. Some people might know that by a few different terms, but zero to five feet from the from the wall of your home out five feet. You want to make sure that there's no combustible material inside that zone. That goes that can make your home significantly more resistant to wildfires because how wildfires tend to spread. There's lots of different ways that it can happen, but uh, one of the primary ways is embers coming from a long distance off. Embers can travel up to a mile on a on the wind and ignite a structure uh, a mile away. So what we want to try to do is, is limit the amount of ember accumulation that can happen and how it, what it has to, to, to ignite. Uh, the other thing is we want to keep things like fences, um, sheds, uh, pergolas, um, landscaping, mulch. We want to keep that stuff more than five feet away from the house as well, or at least the combustible features away from the house. So for example, how can you make a fence uh, that you might like uh, less likely to suffer from wildfire. So install a metal gate in that zero to five foot zone. And then from there, you can use wood material outside of that five foot zone. And that is great. Thanks, Fred. You guys have so much information on your website. Where do people find it? Yeah, so there's a couple of different places that uh, that folks should go. IBHS.org. Up there, we have our thunderstorm ready guides. You know, severe weather uh, preparedness week is this week. And uh, the most severe weather happens between March and June every year. So go check out those free resources. Give you a bunch of DIY tips. And if you're interested in learning more about Fortified, go to fortifiedhome.org. Fred Malik, thanks for coming on today, man. I love what you guys are doing. And uh, feel free to come back on because I know you guys are constantly doing research and learning more things. Sounds great, Eric. Thanks again for having us, buddy. See you around. You're probably asking yourself how you can have your house ready for that next storm. That's why I'm here.